Hey guys, we're going to have a quick look at the Zen 50 from Peak Electronics. A big thank you to Jazz at Peak Electronics as usual for sending out a, a review unit. Uh, this one will be uh, passed on to somebody else on the forum as a free uh, giveaway uh, and uh, we're only going to do a really basic look at it uh, today. I'm just going to zoom back in again, we'll just fire this up. As always, there's an issue with <laughs> displaying it for the camera. Uh, I've got it on a little, a tiny little baby tripod. I'm sure it's going to fall off at some point, but that's the best I can do for uh, video purposes. So, as usual, um, nice manual with it. All made in the UK, which is uh, really nice to see. And uh, I'll uh, include the link to Peak Electronics website so you can have a look at this. Uh, in more detail uh, but we're just going to test it out with a couple of uh, diodes and uh, an LED you've got to remember that reversing the LEDs will destroy them with this uh, you've got to get it the right way around uh, so first thing we're going to do is connect a 4V7 diode as usual I just wish these leads were a little bit longer so oh, and another issue there I don't like I just wish it would stay on a bit longer as well so this is 4v7 we're getting 3.7 I'm just gonna have a closer look at that uh, and myself just make sure that that is what it says on the diode wrong way round this is a, uh, a BZX uh, 85C4V7. So yeah, it's reading a little on the low side there. We'll just grab a, another one and uh, try it. Yeah, you go. I knew that wasn't going to stay on there for long. Yeah, again, 3.7. That's interesting. We have a short circuit diode. Wow, that's a brand new diode. I th actually no, it's not. It's a. Um, I can see some solder on the legs of that diode. So we're just going to go and get our meter and uh, measure that. Because why on earth would we have put back a <laughs> short circuit diode into the pot? And yeah short circuit. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, a bit embarrassing, but there you go. So let's pop those back, they're obviously reading a little low for whatever reason. Uh, next one I think, I've labelled these, it's a bit hard to see, these are 27 volt diodes. Oh and it's turned off again. I appreciate the trying to save the battery life, but I just wish this would stay on a little bit longer. Uh, this time it's absolutely spot on. Just giving it a few seconds to settle down. I'm just going to zoom in. You might as well be looking at the, the display rather than the rest of it. Hopefully you can see that. Let's just try another value. What have we got? Uh, three, three V zero. So three volt diode. Oops, got it the wrong way around. Okay, 1.8, that's interesting. Let me just read the body and see what it is. Well, 3v, 3v0 is what it says, so why it's. Uh, why it's reading. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing as well. Why that is reading like that, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I can't answer that question. I don't know what's going on there. Let's try uh, another one. Again, Fortunately, I'm taking stuff I can read, so 3v0 again on this one. Let's try again. 
Ugh. Well, the reading's consistent, but um, there are three volts in us, so why we are not getting a good reading there? Oh, I don't know. Let's try something else. We have 18 volt diode. Pretty close. Uh, yeah, okay. Next one we've got, I think this is 24 volts. And that's spot on. So it's interesting, I think uh, then you can't use this to. Oh. <laughs> Please increase that time off. Uh, duration that is uh, is not long enough so I don't think you're going to be able to use this to uh, accurately measure unidentified zeners that you might have in a box let's try a 43 volt zener okay let me just double check that that is not uh, higher than that Okay, so this is a BZY97C, man I can't read the writing underneath that, yeah don't know, I think that is not in the right tray, it's probably been, oh yeah in fact they've all moved over the years I think, uh, let's, uh, let's try this one, so at least you saw the display uh, if it uh, can't determine the value, it will just flash there with the 50 like that. Let's try this one. Okay, 12 volts. And we do have a section in that tray which, uh, which should be 12 volts, so that's obviously correct. I've got these ones marked as 91 volts, so they're no good. Okay, I've found the. Okay, let's. These have all got mixed up unfortunately. I think this might be the 43 volt center, so we'll just plug that in. No, 2 volts. Okay, uh, the other one in there, well, there is no 2 volt center in this box, so quite sure whether these have got mixed up. Let me have a read. Well, actually, no, that is, uh, yeah, I'd have to look at the spec book to see what uh, that really is. Uh, what else have we got? Just try this last one, 24 volts, oh. The other thing I find annoying is these silicon shrouds are so slippy you can sometimes just spin the crocodile clip around inside or you know the shroud will spin around because it's such shiny uh, silicon rubber. So that's 24 and that is spot on. So it's strange how some are absolutely perfect and others uh, are not. Uh, Zena, sorry LEDs you can test with this uh, but if you get it wrong the wrong way around you're 